Hi everybody! I'm Sandy Sandler and it's Monday so it's Facebook Live Day and we're going to do some really fun hair bows and puppy bows and I am going to also do something really special. I'm going to show you guys some really cool ribbon storage ideas and then also we're going to give away two rolls of our new Bodabra ribbon. So please stay, stay on and say you want to win. And also please share, because I love it so much when you guys share. In fact, I was watching this thing the other day and they said, say to like and share and comment. So I'm gonna ask you guys to do that. Anyway, I'm gonna get started. We're gonna Manon make- says hi again. Oh, hi Manon, thank you so much. And I know you were on, I'm gonna try to pull up, um, excuse you guys for one sec. Just gonna try to pull up, here we go. So now I can see the comments. Okay. Um, Jeannie says, hi Sandy, and hi, so Edna. Hi Jeannie. Now you guys, this is exciting. Jeannie is gonna guest design for us. So we're really excited. I can't wait to see her project. So I'm gonna fold my Bodabra wire in half and lay it down into my bo mini Bodabra. Now I have um, two yards and this is a three quarter inch ribbon. It's a really nice satin. It's one of our Bodabra ribbons. And I'm going to twist it and scrunch it down into my Bodabra and bring it back over and twist and then fold it back. And if you're not familiar, I'm just gonna try to see if I can see the comments here that you guys are, okay, I will get to that later. So now I'm gonna fold and twist and I'm gonna fold back. And the reason we're twisting, this is just a really easy way to make a loopy bow. So the wrong side of my ribbon is on the inside of my loop. And so please, you guys, if you're watching the replay, please let me know. I usually will come back and comment. Last week, Facebook was being very belligerent with me and I just couldn't comment as myself. So, but I figured finally yesterday, so I was able to comment and reply to everybody who had commented. So I'm gonna fold this back over, twist it, scrunch it in, fold it back and twist and scrunch it in. And I'm gonna do one more loop here and take my wand and scrunch everything down and now I'm gonna hopefully be able to see um, the comments that you guys are making. So now I'm going to take, I have, this is a one inch wide ribbon and I have 17 inches. So I'm just gonna fold it in half. So this is a combination of a loopy bow. And um, now I'm gonna go scrunch that down here, fold it back over and make Shirley a little Wolf loop. says, I think we all like that. Perfect. Oh, thank you, Shirley. This is one of our new ribbons, so I'm really excited about it. And we're going to show you guys some of our new ribbons today um, in the middle of our live. And then right after that, we're going to give our first roll of ribbon away. So I'm going to just do that. Now, what you guys saw, I should take this and show you. Edna more. Patrick says, almost didn't make it hubby in hospital. Oh, no, Edna. Is he going to be okay? Like, okay, you guys, I'm like trying to see this so that I can see. I don't know why it's not letting me. Um, Michael, can you do me a huge favor and see if you can get that so that I can see the comments? And then this is just a two by two inch piece. I'm gonna scrunch that down in there. So Ed, I hope your husband's gonna be okay. Um, now, where are you guys watching me from? So now I'm gonna pull this through and pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Jean Laredo Tipton wants to know what are you creating? This is a loopy, um, it's a loopy bow with a boutique bow in the middle and a little scrunchy bow in the middle. And this is going to be perfect for a ponytail bow. Um, or for a big puppy, you can put it on there. Thank you so much, Michael. Um, so now I'm gonna tie this off. And we're gonna show you guys a preview of some of the really, really cool stuff that uh, Michael did and tie this onto my ponytail holder. And Edna and Patrick just... says she's watching from Maryland. Oh, great, Edna. I may be going to Maryland in a few weeks. I haven't quite decided, but they have, for women-owned businesses, there's a big conference, so I'm looking into it. And it's in Baltimore. So 
now, so see, isn't that like a cute little, super, super simple um, ponytail holder or puppy bow that can go on your puppy. Pretty much the hair bows work really well as puppy bows. It's just the size of the puppy is the size of the bow. Michelle so, Anderson says she's watching from Oklahoma. And oh. Patricia Venick says she's watching from Waco, Texas. Oh, wow. So we're from all over. Thanks, you guys. Oh, and now I can see. So Michelle, Patricia... G oh, wait, darling. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. Okay, so now we're going to take some of our um, really pretty new Bodabra spring rhythm. Edna Patrick says, oh, 65 miles from Baltimore. Oh, okay. So I'm going to fold it in half and lay this down. And Michelle check Anderson it. says, very cute. And yes, that purple ribbon is very pretty. Thank you, Michelle. So now this is a two inch wide ribbon and I have 13 inches and we've just kind of cut a angle on the end. I'm just going to fold it in half and lay it down into my mini modabra. Then I have another piece of the same ribbon and that's 17 inches long and I believe it's a two inch ribbon. Maybe make sure. Oh no, I'm wrong. It's a two and a half inch wide ribbon. So I'm just going to twist it and then I'm just going to make a loop, bring it back, lay that down in there and then just kind of center it. And if you're really picky, you can always use the um, Bodabra measurer. Um, and just so you guys know, I had somebody who asked me, I have to write back to her. So this is uh, 13 inches by two and a half inches. So we're just gonna make another loop bow that's just gonna be a little bit smaller in the middle. And this makes for great little headband, I mean, uh, hair bow or ponytail holder bow. Rhonda K. Roberts says, hi, Sandy. Hi, Wanda. Thank you so much for joining me. And now I'm going to pull this through here and pull it tight. Edna Patrick says she went to Michael's Crafts today. Oh, cool. Did you get any fun stuff? It's dangerous for me to go into any kind of craft or ribbon store. I, it's, let's just say it is very dangerous. So I'm gonna just scrunch this. And when you guys, when we walk through and you guys see how much ribbon, um, and actually this isn't even everything that you're gonna see. And then you can tie that onto a ponytail holder. Isn't that cute? And so super, super, super simple to make. So I'm gonna now put this aside and I am going to- Shirley Wolf says that she likes the polka dots. Oh, thank you, Shirley. I love it all, but then I picked it all out. So, <laughs> so now I'm gonna fold it. But I love your comments. You know what? I have a question for you guys. Maybe you can help me out. We're we we're trying to figure out. I'm gonna share some personal information. Take my wire, fold it in half, and we're trying to figure out. Um, we've been charging four ninety five for shipping in our Bodabra store. Um, is that, do you guys think that's a problem or do you think that maybe we should do free shipping at like $29, an, a $29 order you got free shipping? Um, so I'm just kind of doing a little survey. So if you could let me know what you think, that would be totally awesome. So now I'm gonna take um, this ribbon here and we've got, it's four inches wide and 18 inches long. And again, I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon and just kind of scrunch that down into my mini Bodabra. And I'm going to fold it Rebecca back. Rebecca West Wiggins says, Sandy, I made some killer bows last night on my Bodabra for a couple of Easter <gasps> bunnies. Oh, I have to see them. You have to share those in our Bodabra fan gallery. That would be so awesome. So now I'm just going to go down in the center and push this down. And then I have this ribbon, which is uh, 14 inches. And I believe this is a two and a half inch wide. And scrunch that down. So yeah, I'm having so much fun. Um, so definitely, Rebecca, I would love to see those bows that you made. And still no scrunchy rub. I know, you know what the problem, Anne, is? That I am the only one that has the scrunchy ribbon, but the really cool thing, and then I'm gonna take, this is popping out because I have that big mesh in the bottom, so I'm gonna scrunch this all down there. And then I'm the only one that has the scrunchy ribbon right now, but the good news is within the next, probably by May 1st, we are going to carry, we're gonna be able to sell internationally. So I'm really excited about that. 
Um, so it'll be a little bit more on shipping, but you will get the U.S. pricing. So that will help because I know when you do the, you know, the euro or the pound to the dollar, um, it's not as good of an exchange rate. So you'll, you will get it for a lot less money. So now I'm going to pull this through, pull it tight. So just one month and we will have that up. And pull it out, separate the ends. And then pick it and tie a knot. And then this can go onto a ponytail Gina holder. Moreno tipped and said, your shipping is very reasonable. Oh, Jean, thanks. I appreciate that. And that's something that I have to, you know, I'm turning out because I just want to make sure that people are happy. And then you can tie this onto a headband or a ponytail holder or even an Easter bonnet. Michelle Anderson says, I myself think $4.99 shipping is pretty reasonable. Oh, okay, thank you. So I'm going to put this aside. And... Now I'm going to take the big bodabra because you can make hair bows in the big bodabra and the mini bodabra. And I'm going to fold it in half, my wire in half, and cut the ends and lay it down in. I think part of the problem with this store is we didn't have a lot of product. All we had was like the bodabra. Um, and so now that we're bringing in all these new ribbons, I think we're going to have a lot more things for people to buy. And then you'll reach our free shipping anyway. So it's 12 inches long by four inches wide. I'm just gonna fold it in half and that's gonna make my tail. Scrunch that down into my Edna boat. Edna Patrick says blue is so pretty. Thank you, Edna. I mean, I just love all the colors. <laughs> so 23 inches and two and a half inches wide. So I'm just gonna put this down, up, put the right side down, come back around and again. Jeanne and take... Laredo Tinted says Bodabra wire is the best. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that, Jean. It's, um, am I really pronouncing your, your name correctly? Because I hate to pronounce people's names wrong. So um, now we've got, this is five inches by four inches. And we're just going to do a little scrunchy bow right down in the middle. So now I am going to take my Bodabra wand and scrunch it all down and pull this up so and then in a minute okay here we go we are going to go I'm so excited and I'm going to show you my brand new I spent all weekend organizing Michael was here helping me by the way and building all of these um, components for storage that I got at Ikea and Lowe's were my two shops I'm going to show you guys some of the cool things that I found so this you could put onto a ponytail holder um, it's just a really cute little spring bow. And I just, I think this is adorable. You could go on a big dog too. So we'll put this aside. And now we're going to go on a tour. So I'm going to start by um, walking over here and showing you guys. Um, these are some of our, these are some of our really cool new ribbons. They are um, like, to one and a half inches wide and 10 yards and they're really nice quality and that we have as a kit and then of course we have our beautiful blue these this is our blue mesh we have our silvers we have all kinds of beautiful ribbon and of course our mesh rolls of ribbon and these are cut because this these will be our surprise mystery ribbon kits we have an assortment of um like really really awesome designer ribbons and then I'm going to walk here into our little craft room and well craft room slash gym and now I'm going to show you guys I hope um Jacob are we yeah, uh, able to follow? okay now you guys is this not unbelievably awesome it is a shoe rack that I bought for $29 and look at all the ribbon. Like Jacob, can you pull back and just show it from a distance so they can really see the whole length of the door? And it doesn't even hardly take up any space. So you can just close, open your door and the ribbon's right there. So is that not like totally, totally cool? So now, and then we have these racks that we found that I believe they were shoe racks that we put together and then another thing that I found, I'm so excited, 
over here, these bins for three, whoops, yeah, for three ninety nine, I got these awesome bins at Ikea. And they just pull out, and this I just got at Lowe's. But then one of the other tricks that I have, which is really cool, so we're gonna walk back over here. I hope you guys are liking this. I can't see the comments right now. Um, but- I'm saying nice, and that's awesome. I desperately need something like that for my ribbon, LOL. Oh, it's so cool, and it was only $24 on Amazon. Like, how can you beat that? So now what I did here is we took all of our scraps of ribbon, and these I bought like a whole shower thing for I think 99 cents at Ikea, and then this unit I bought at Lowe's, and it was perfect because I can just hook all of my ribbon going down the sides um, on all of this. So it just gives you guys some really cool ribbon storage ideas. And then what I'm gonna show you here, this, we're gonna make this in a couple weeks, but this is our brand new rose ribbon. This is our blue ribbon. And then this is like our mixtures, and then this is the roses worked into here. Whoopsie daisy, my bunnies are falling out. We'll fix those later. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the really cool stuff. And then we even have, now we have to be a little tricky here, and then we're gonna go back to making more bows. So in here, this is again another Ikea purchase, but these, we sell a mega kit, which is an assortment. These are two and a half inches wide by 10 inches long, really quality like fabric rib, really nice ribbons. And we do an assortment of six rolls of these in our mega cats. And then you can see these are all 50 yard rolls, um, two and a half inches wide of a really nice ribbon. And these we're gonna be selling, I think in the store for like under $12 for 50 yards of really quality ribbon. So I'm so, so excited, you guys. And we're gonna have all kinds of specials coming up. So now I'm gonna go back over here and I think we probably have our first winner. Um, oh, Jeannie, I know I've seen, Jeannie said she has several racks. Jeannie is like, she's got a husband too that, that puts it all together for her, which is really cool. Shirley, thank you. And Edna, come to my craft room, okay? The winner so, is Michelle Anderson. Michelle Anderson, awesome. So we'll be sending you a roll of ribbon. And I'm going to fold this in half and lay this down. Tuck the ends underneath. And we will make a really cute little bow that works for a puppy or a per Oh, I, you know what? I want to do this in the mini. Yeah, I think I want to do this one in the mini. So I'll take my wire. Judy, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. And um, now I'm gonna take my ribbon here. And this is 22 inches long. And I believe this is a one and a half inch wide ribbon. And I'm just gonna fold it in half. And I'm going to take the right side of my ribbon and put it down into my bow dabber at the center of it. I just wanna make sure I got the center, I didn't. Cause this is a way you can make a boutique bow without having to measure. So now I'm gonna come back over again, take the right side and push that down into my mini bow dabra. I'm gonna bring this over here. And this is just such a pretty spring. Take the right side, put that down into my mini bow dabra. Then take my bottom loop, do my little, again, do my little mountain up there then bring this and this is what is cool about the mountain up which I'm doing right here and then you just kind of scrunch it in is that it makes it so you don't have to sew your bows so now I thought I put my phone on do not disturb guys I apologize for that so I'm just gonna bring this around here bring this one back over here and bring that in and then just scrunch the bottom in Let's the top down in. Then I have all these little pieces of mesh, which are just a tubular, two inch pieces of tubular mesh. And just kind of lay those in. And so it just adds some cute little flair to the bow. Um, no, and we've actually had people from out of the country, uh, Manolan last week, and she lives up in Canada. So we don't, we, we don't pick, it's all random, so we never know. So I'm just gonna scrunch this down um, and then bring it up here, 
pull it through my slip knot while it's still in the bodabra. Pull everything really tight. And we still, don't forget you guys, we still have another winner at the end of the show. So definitely be watching. So now we're gonna bring this back around. We're gonna tie it off. And then you know what would be really cool? If you guys could share in our Facebook fan gallery your ribbon storage ideas. Cause I think everybody, I know me, I'm always looking for like good storage ideas. And I was so excited to go to Ikea and find some of the stuff I did. So I'll tie this like onto a ponytail holder or I could glue it onto one of these fabric um, hair, hair pit and that would be a really cute hair clip. Now I buy these and they're already covered. So, cause I'm too lazy to do all the gluing and stuff and it's so inexpensive. So, um, you could just put that on there and then you have a really cute, whoops, cute little hair clip. Um, or this would look adorable on a puppy's collar. So I'm going to put this one away. And um, now I have another trick that I have. Let's get all these boxes. I try to keep everything so organized. Um, another trick that I have for putting a bow on a puppy is um, to use a headband and then just put it around their neck. Um, and so now what I'm gonna do, I think I can do this one in the big Bodabra. I like to show that you can do it in both. So I'm gonna take my wire and cut a piece, fold it in half, my hat's falling down, fold it in half and lay this down into my Bodabra. Hi, Bonita! Thank you for saying hello from Missouri. And Manon, thank you so much um, for saying it's cute. So now I have some pieces of tool. They're six inches. I think they're six inches wide. Yeah, they're six inches wide and um, 13 inches long. So I'm just going to lay the first one. We're just going to scrunch that in and then take my second, which is the same size, and just scrunch that in. <clears throat> so it makes a cute little background on, the, on your bow. And then I have a one and a half inch wide by 20 inches long. And again, we're gonna do this like we do our boutique style bow. So I'm gonna fold it in half, take the right side, lay that down in here, fold it back over and lay that down and then bring this over here. Then, and so this is how you do this if you're using the big Bodabra versus the mini. Works the same way, so I'm gonna make my X, but I'm just not gonna push everything in. So now I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna push this bottom one in, in the center, then kind of find the center here, whoops. And the center here of this one, lay that down in there. And then I have this really, these just adorable little corker ribbons. Lay those down in here. And I wanted to do some bows using Catherine's collection today, but we're not going to get to it. So I'm going to do a special pop-up live someday, one day this week, and we will do feature a couple of bows of Catherine's collection. So please make sure you follow us on Bodabra so you'll be notified when we go live. So now I'm just going to tie a knot. But all this tool gets kind of in the way there and knot it again. And I know, and I love tool too, and it's so inexpensive. And yet you can create gorgeous bows. Now for this, to tie it onto the headband, what I like to do is find where the seam is. And then I take one of my wires, one, one piece of wire and run it in to the right, inside of the seam and then bring it right back out on the other on the other side of the seam and I like these headbands because you can weave your um, wire I think through there ugh, goodness gracious that's what happens on lives things don't go perfectly and pull that through there and now I'll take the other side and I'll tie it that way the, the headband and the wire isn't right against your puppy or your little girl's head. So, you know, it's so funny because I Teresa make... Teresa Johnson says, new to Bodabra. Sorry to ask, but what is the measuring thing 
you have next to your Bodabra? This is for the mini. We're working on one for the regular Bodabra. But this is the measuring goes and slides over the mini Bodabra and it allows the mini Bodabra to automatically, to, to still work exactly the way it's supposed to. We have centimeters on one side and inches on the other. The mini Bodabra actually comes with a CD that has um, a downloadable ebook. It comes with some wire. It also comes with a CD. Let me just grab this out here. That has a downloadable ebook. And the reason we do it as a downloadable ebook is because it's this is it printed out. So we really couldn't afford to sell it for $12.99 <laughs> with everything that's included. And we have step-by-step -step instruct, and it's an interactive software. So you like click and it takes you to the bow, but there's 70 different hair bows that it shows how to make, which is really 70 different bows using the mini Bodabra. So there's very simple, and then we, we get even like really elaborate. So it shows you how to make all the loopy bows. Um, and literally, it is like literally step-by-step -step instructions. Um, and they have the spiky bows. We have these little baby basic bows. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really cool product. So the it's, second winner was announced is JJ Flores. Oh, JJ, congratulations. That's so awesome. So now that I finished this, let me just knot this off and show you guys this. Thank you for like bearing with me so I can explain that. Um, and then now we're just going to shape out our bow. And you have this cute little headband, which is the adorable on a little baby in the photo. Or on your puppy, you just put it right around their neck. And if Vivi were here, I would show you. But as any of my regulars know, Vivi does not like modeling, even though she's a gorgeous Siberian Husky. So anyway, I can't believe we've already finished our half hour. Next week, Michael, what are we doing next week? We don't, garden, Mother's Day? No. Easter. Next week is Easter, so we're going to make that really cute Easter basket I showed you earlier. Some Easter wreaths. It's going to be so much fun. And please follow Bodabra so that you'll know when I do my pop-up lives, because I'm going to start doing some pop-up lives for fun. So we'll see you guys all next week, same time, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, and 7 p.m. Eastern. And then we know Arizona's on Pacific time right now with Daylight Savings Time. So we'll see you guys soon. Bye.